If you're looking for love and don't know where to go Try Sam and the show Good morning. So now we're heading to brunch. We were gonna go to another place, but then I felt bad that we would have to drive. 43 minutes? Are you sure you wanna go? Let's not go. That's fine. Dude, it's far. No, it's just traffic, that's why. It's far. No, it's fine. I didn't film yesterday when we were arriving because honestly, yesterday I was very tired and he was very tired because he's been driving and I just have not been sleeping. Day one, what do we do? I bought underwear because I forgot to bring and pack underwear. It was a sudden revelation rele revelation, revelation in the car. So we had to find a mall such a place to get underwear real quick. So I found Aerie, but we got there at 7.50 and it closed at eight. So then I made it in the nick of time. And now I'm wearing fresh underwear now. Did you wash it? Yes, I did. I washed it. Let's do a Q&A because we're in traffic anyways. You have to answer for me and I have to answer for you and see how well we know each other, okay? Okay. What is my weird behavior? I don't know, Sam. Why don't you tell me? <laughs> I have something in mind. Um, me too. Okay, so say it. I think you can just make the noise and tell me. Okay, yeah, so I make noises when I, whenever, randomly, and it's a thing. I think when you're anxious. I think I also just make it in general, like when, also like when I'm bored or whatever, there's really no rhyme or reason. Oh, this is so easy. What is my favorite type of car for you? Tesla. All right. I mean, I really like my car because okay. of the self-driving. Okay. But I don't think it's my favorite. I always tell myself my dream car, uh -huh. like a realistic one, uh -huh. like a BMW M5. I don't know what that is, but okay. I'll put a picture here. What is my shoe size? I think it's a six and a half. So far, it is a seven. What? <laughs> it's not that far. <laughs> it's not that far. Six and a half work? No, but like for maybe for some shoes or no, 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 no. It's it's seven and then sometimes seven and a half, but usually seven. For you, I think your shoe size is ten and a half. Nine and a half. What is my favorite ice cream flavor? Um, mint chocolate chip. Correct. For you, ooh, do I know this? I don't think you do. Have we ever had ice cream like that together where you had your favorite ice cream flavor? I just don't really have one. Okay. I do like pistachio. Sometimes I would go with like black sesame, like a Thai iced tea flavor. That's okay. pretty interesting, I would say. Do I have any allergies? <laughs> um, I'm allergic to you. <sighs> but no, I have been getting random like hives every time I'm around him, so you know. I think it's a telling sign. Hmm. Probably like in your face. What is my favorite snack in pretzels? Yes. Your favorite snack is... You don't snack though, because you only snack when you're bored, when you're at work. So what, what do I snack on when I'm at work? Honestly, anything that's available. I do really like Cheetos. Oh. But my favorite snack is you. I caught. So we're now charging the car, and we're gonna walk over to brunch. Okay, so I didn't talk in the brunch place because it was loud. How would you rate it? A one. What? And it was, everything was mediocre. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I would come back. It is a bit out of the way. Yeah, agreed. But I thought the place was pretty decent. I would say my rating would be 6.5 to a 7 out of 10. I did like the pancakes um, more than the, the dish. The dish. The dish itself was kind of basic. So I ordered a lot chang hash, and then he ordered a chashu pork. Benedict, I think the chashu, first of all, it didn't taste like chashu. It was definitely very Americanized chashu. I think it was like caramelized. Yeah, it was too caramel for me. Like, I don't really like my meat sweet. So that's why I like the lot trying more, because it was like more salty. Now we're getting hot sauce for my mom, and it's about a 20 minute drive away. And apparently, she really likes the hot sauce. Yeah, shout out to Michelle. Shout out to Michelle, who I know is watching this video, because she watches all my videos. Did you know that? She does? Yes. Why, do you watch all my videos? No. We're gonna fix that. Would you ever wear a wig? Probably not. Oh. I gotta own it if I don't have any hair. Really? Well, you have that confidence. I mean, yeah, if I'm a little bit older, yeah, why not?
I'm back in the hotel. I met up with my great aunt. Went to Uncle Tatsu. And then we went to this matcha place and I got myself a black sesame matcha. And it was so, so good. Now that I'm back, I feel like I not have not given you a, a room tour. So let's do that. So you enter and the bedroom's in there. And then you walk, walk, walk. That's the mirror and that's where my suitcase is. And that's, that's me. Here we have the bed. It's a king size bed. Very spacious, even though I thought the king size would be a lot bigger. Then we have some lovely decor. This is my new underwear. These are not worn. I bought them from Aerie because I forgot to bring underwear. Here is the view. You like stormy cloud? It was raining a lot before. But now it has cleared up and it's pretty nice. I think I'm gonna spend the next couple hours laying in bed because I'm tired and traveling takes a toll on me. I just want to lay in bed and it's very comfortable. So we're back in the States now. We're charging the car, so we have nothing better to do. We're gonna do a taste test. We got this at TNT in Toronto. It's a ketchup flavored yam crisp. No, oh, it's a tomato flavored. So, packaging. Interesting. Ooh. Sniff it. What does it smell like to you? It smells like yam, definitely. I can't really smell the tomato. Me neither. And they're like very oddly shaped. Cheers. Don't you have to do this? Do to do <laughs> okay, fine, fine. You didn't even focus. Like, fine! It was pretty good. I don't know. It's too soft. You know what I mean? Yes. Definitely reminds me more of like an Asian snack mm -hmm. than it does like what I think of Lay's. I'll definitely eat it again. I would rate it um, four out of 10. Four out of 10? It's not my favorite, no. Okay. Okay, show the vlog how you fold your chips. <laughs> you taught me to do this. Mm hmm. But then there's no opening, so how would you do it? Oh, you want the expert to show you? Sure. Okay. Okay, so you have this whole thing and then you fold it down. Oh no, this is gonna be a lot difficult, but oh, I'm gonna fold oh, it. Oh, okay. No, it's gonna work. So you have it folded, right? You have this part that's folded down. Then you flip it to this side and you bend the corners. So you bend this way, then bend this way, and then you flip this side over to the floppies. And then, this is, oh, this is not really well done, but it should kind of look like this. I mean, it's a pretty good job. I think air cannot really escape. I like it. Cool.